I'm back on the quest for sourdough. And how I ended up here? It all started one week ago. My appetite was stimulated by a sourdough from Seattle that was registered on the Quest for Sourdough website. Seattle is a cool, trendy city on the west coast of the USA. When I told the owner I was coming to visit him, I found out we actually had to go to Bainbridge Island. This is a 30-minute ferry trip from the city. The reason I noticed this particular sourdough was that it comes from a pizzeria, and not just any pizzeria, but an award-winning one. Well, hello there. Hello, welcome. Finally. Hello, Will. You're overdue. Pleased to meet you. You as well. Thank you very much for having me here. After a warm welcome, I was eager to discover everything about the place. I am in a pizzeria, so we are here to make pizza, what is so special about your pizza? My pizza won best pizza in the United States, non-traditional style. And my manager won traditional style, second place, making us the top rated pizzeria in the United States. I cannot wait to taste it, so let's make some. Let's make some pizza. All right. This is 72 hours fermentation 72 now. hour fermentation dough, yes. We find it's much more digestible yeah. when you give it the longer fermentation. Little by little, Will unveils the secret to making the perfect pizza. Will is a great pizza maker who shows me how to shape an almost perfect dough circle. It's clear, I really need more practice. Next now is the toppings. Let's top a pizza. All right. First I'll be working with you with my gorgonzola vegetarian. The gorgonzola pizza. vegetarian. Gorgonzola vegetarian. It's what I won with Atlantic City. Okay. Cream cheese, mozzarella, mushrooms, garlic, pine nuts, and some red onions are the ingredients of this non-traditional pizza. I found if you bake feta, it really dries it out. So if you put it on afterwards and use the heat to melt it, a nice smooth consistency. And the beauty is you can see in the crust there yeah. and the rise out of it. Bon, proof of the pudding is in the eating. Eh? Absolutely. It has the, the short bite, the fluffiness of the, of the texture, the waxy, and, and, and on top of it, yeah, the, the flavor is great. So, what's your secret? It's my starter. It's the starter. Absolutely. Well, I would like to see that starter. Let me grab some for you. What's so special about this sourdough? Well, the beauty of this sourdough is it's been alive and inactive with my family for over 35 years. But it really originated much further back and much older from when the West Coast was inundated with pioneers who were looking for gold. Well, I, I'm convinced that this sourdough deserves undeniably a place in our sourdough library and I am I'm, I'm honored that you are willing to share him with us. That's interesting. The origin of Will's fantastic sourdough goes back to the end of the 19th century, which means it played an important role during the Klondike Gold Rush. The Klondike Gold Rush started back in 1896 when a boat arrived laden with two tons of gold in the port of Seattle. As the city was living through an economic crisis, this event created a real buzz that would quickly spread all over the world. About 100,000 gold seekers arrived in Seattle. But they hadn't realized that the gold itself was to be found more than 3,000 kilometers to the north in Dawson City. A long and arduous journey awaited the fortune seekers. 
sourdough would play an important role in this whole adventure. And the best way to discover why is to follow the Klondike Gold Rush route again.